What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy Wednesday, everybody. It is almost Friday. So today, today we are getting into a mod showcase that is actually a player home with a little bit of a twist. So the mod we're looking at today is called Inkwell Home. It's an, it's an interesting sounding mod, but I've seen these mods before. I've seen a couple ones like that like this before but this one looked very very unique so here is the whole entire mod description for you guys it's got pretty much everything that you could possibly need as far as amenities with the exception of armor racks and um armor mannequins and stuff like that so he comes with an anvil workbench grindstone arcane enchanter alchemy lab tanning rack smelter cooking pot a comfy bed and tons and tons of storage and a few extras which is very very nice so the backstory is pushing the boundaries of logic and reason beyond the prudent, an unknown artificer created a tiny retreat inside a spare inkwell. Long since abandoned, you discover the secretive abode when you knocked over a box of scribing supplies and the stopper popped off. So, a very, very interesting take on the mobile home type of thing. So, instead of it being a singular stationary player home, the player home goes with you. So, let me go ahead and show you exactly where to go and to come and get the uh, the place. So, we are inside of Helgen, and uh, it looks a little bit different mainly because, well, we didn't start off with the vanilla intro and stuff like that. So... Helgen, as everybody knows, right here, we got the Guardian Stones, we got Riverwood, we got Lakeview Manor, we got Falkreath, we got all this stuff around here, and that's where you need to come. So, more importantly, you need to come into the Helgen Keep. So, as soon as you walk into the door, you'll have two ways to go. That way is locked. This way is locked behind an apprentice lock, I want to say. Either that or this door is open. I can't remember what I did. <laughs> so then you come down here. You come down this spiral staircase. You make a right. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take out the torch just so that I can actually see where we're going. There we go. Come down here. The wall will fall if it hasn't already come through here. Now, mind you, there will be bandits inside of here, uh, especially if it's your second time coming through here after either the vanilla entrance or uh, another type of entrance as far as, like, the, the Live Another Life mod goes. Come down this way. <sighs> and the room we're looking for is the torture chamber right here. So, these three cages are important because the one on the right, right here, you could miss it, but it's right here. It's just chilling inside of this nice little cage, and uh, it's good to go. So this is the only place you need to come and get it, guys. Like I said, there are plenty of guards down here uh, who need to be killed and, uh, and bandits and stuff like that. But now that it is in our possession, it will show up in potions under Inkwell Home. And then all you gotta do is equip it. And here we go, you guys. This is what I wanted to see. So it's it starts you off looking at the ominous inkwell just sitting underneath of a, uh, a spotlight. And you can't really see anything here, can you? It's really, really dark. Well, fear not, because right on your bed, which is why it's glowing, you got a light switch, and it, it just illuminates every single thing inside of here. So, a very, very tiny player home, guys, but you are inside of an inkwell, so it can't be very big, but it is so cool nonetheless. So let's see, we got some nice personal storage, and I like the Dweamer theme, you know? It's got the Dweamer storage and all that stuff. Very, very cool. These are non-respawning chests, so your shit will be safe. And then, looks like we got some stuff growing on the walls, which is kind of cool. And the final touch, I would say, which is very, very cool. Look at the ground. It's not water. It's ink. It's, it's so black. And that's so freaking cool. I love that. So, we have a very, very tiny smelter, which works all the same as a regular smelter would. Animation might be a little bit glitched out, but that's okay, just because it's a tiny version of the smith. And then you got yourself a tanning rack, which works. And then you've got yourself a grindstone, or a workbench, an anvil, and a grindstone. And then over here, you got a soul gem storage, arcane enchanter, sneaky nern root. Interesting. What do the sneaky nern roots do? What do you... <laughs> what is that? It doesn't even come up as an ingredient. Maybe it's... Uh, it's not a miscellaneous. Apparel? Is it apparel? No, it's not apparel. Potions? No. 
Food? Let's see, where is that at? Sneaky, <laughs> what was it? Sneaky uh, thingies? Nern root. Yeah, it, it's not coming up in that. That's interesting. I don't know where it pops up at. Is it a weapon? No, it's not a weapon. Let's see, let's go into all and go down to S and see what that did. I took it, put it in my inventory, and now it's gone. That's really interesting. I wonder if that's just an Easter egg or something like that. Read unintended consequences. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like there's some stuff around here. Got an alchemy lab, harvest nightshade, death bell, spiky grass, ingredient storage. Very, very cool. Everything is so compact, and that's what I like about it. You have storage for books, smithing supplies, another bookcase, tanning supplies, cooking supplies, smelting supplies. Pretty much every single thing you could pop possibly need guys is inside of here got us got yourself a comfy bed and there's even storage on that look at that personal storage that's kind of nifty i gotta say that's pretty cool now let's see the only thing that i think is not in here is a cooking pot i'm not sure though i haven't seen one but I think that's the only thing you're missing. Which, I mean, if that's the only thing you're missing, that's pretty damn good. I gotta say, you can fit a lot of shit into this really tiny area and be freaking golden, dude. So, once again, one of the more random mods that I found, but very cool nonetheless. This is for more, this is more for somebody that wants a home, a player home, for all their storage and stuff like that. But, instead of it being a singular stationary place to have to come back to all the time, you take it with you and you're good to go. It's almost like having mobile storage, but... But in this way, it's a mobile home, which I think is a very, very cool thing, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, one more thing before we leave. The way you get back out is you just take the inkwell and you're good to go. So guys, I will see you in the next video.